In this video, I'm going to show you the differences in simulating using Simulink and Simscape. So what is Simulink? Simulink is a graphical user interface for MATLAB. Before we construct the Simulink model of the system that we want to simulate, first we have to develop the mathematical model of the system. From this mathematical model, the Simulink model of the system can be constructed by interconnecting Simulink blocks. So the three steps in simulating using Simulink are first is to develop the mathematical equations or model of the system to be simulated. The second step is to construct the mathematical model developed in step one by interconnecting Simulink blocks. And finally, the third step is to simulate the constructed Simulink model. Now let's move on to Simscape. Simscape is also a graphical user interface for MATLAB. However, developing the model of the system to be simulated using Simscape is a lot easier because we don't need to describe the system using the mathematical equations, but rather we develop the model by interconnecting physical components available from the Simscape library. In other words, there is only two steps involved in simulating using Simscape. The first step is to construct the model using physical components from Simscape library. And the second step is to simulate the constructed physical system. We can see that developing models for simulation is a lot easier with Simscape. All we need to do is just interconnect physical components. The disadvantage of using Simscape is that we miss the physical insight of the model. It is not possible for us to predict the behavior or precisely describe the simulation results without knowing the mathematical model of the system. I'm going to illustrate the difference between simulating using Simulink and Simscape by using a simple parallel RC circuit. The circuit consists of a capacitor, a resistor, and a DC current source connected in parallel. Suppose we want to observe the voltage across the capacitor, Vc. Before we can simulate the circuit using Simulink, we have to model the circuit first. That is, we need to write down the mathematical equations of the circuit. We start off by writing KCL at the upper node of the circuit in terms of the capacitor voltage, Vc. To find the expressions of Vc, we need to solve the first order differential equation. Assuming that the initial voltage across the capacitor is zero, the expressions of Vc can be written as shown. We can simulate the circuit either using the time domain equation or using the frequency domain equation. In this example, I'm going to use the frequency domain. Take the Laplace transform of this equation and solve for Vc. Finally, we can write down the transfer function equation between Vc and Is. Now, let us switch to MATLAB and see how this can be simulated using Simulink. I'm using MATLAB 2016B. We are going to start by clicking the Simulink button. You can choose from different simulating templates depending on the type of the system that you want to simulate. For this example, I'm going to use the blank simulating template. Click Simulant button on the blank simulating window and select the continuous library. Drag and drop the transfer function block to the blank simulating window. If you know the name of the block, you can just type in the name rather than dragging it from the simulating library windows. We're going to use the transfer function block to define the relationship between Vc and Is. Use the constant block from the sources library as Is and select the scope from the sinks library to display Vc. Click the spacebar to fill in the view. We are going to configure the transfer function block based on the equations that we have derived before. We have the options of using the numerical values of Rc or we can use the variables R and C and mask the block. 
In this example, I'm going to mask the block. Double click the transfer function block and complete the numerator and denominator in terms of R and C. Select the transfer function block, right click it and create a subsystem. Select the subsystem, right click and select create mask. Select the parameters in dialog and add the parameters by clicking edit. Type in the prompt and parameters with the resistor R and the capacitor C. Click apply. We can now change the values of R and C by double clicking the mask subsystem block. Change the values of R and C to 100 and 100 microfarads respectively. We can look under the mask by clicking the small arrow on the bottom left hand side of the block. Let's change the input and output port to IS and VC. Now set the simulation time to 100 milliseconds. Open the scope and run the simulation by clicking the run button. What is shown on the scope is the response of the capacitor voltage to a step change of 1 ampere current source. Suppose now that we want to observe the capacitor current. We know that the capacitor current equals to the derivative of the capacitor voltage times the capacitance of the capacitor. Go under the mask and add the derivative and gain blocks to simulate the capacitor current. Change the gain value to C and add another output port for the capacitor current. Add another input port to the scope. Name the signal as VC and IC. And finally run the simulation. What is shown on the scope now are two signals, the capacitor voltage and the capacitor current. Now let's see how the same circuit can be simulated using Simscape. Unlike Simulink, we don't need to model the circuit using mathematical equations, but rather we just need to construct the circuit by interconnecting the physical components from the Simscape library. MATLAB will generate the necessary codes from the physical network that we have constructed in order to simulate the circuit. After we have constructed the circuit, we run the simulation. Now, I will show you how to do this in MATLAB. Click the Simulink button to start Simulink. For this example, we are going to choose the Simscape electrical template. Simscape electrical template contains the necessary components to simulate the electrical domain physical network, such as the electrical references, electrical library, and physical signal to Simulink and Simulink to physical signal converters. The contents of Simscape library depends on the subscribed license. The electrical library can be accessed from the Simscape Foundation library. Now let's construct the circuit. Open the electrical elements library and drag and drop the capacitor to the simulating template. If you know the name of the block, you can just type in the name of the block in the simulating window. Drag and drop the resistor. The DC current source is obtained from the electrical sources library. 
when simulating the simscape, a solver configuration block must always be connected to each physical network. Also, for every domain, there must be a reference block. For electrical network, the reference is in terms of potential difference, and it must be connected to the physical network as well. Now let's configure the physical components. Make sure the current source is 1 ampere, the capacitor is 100 microfarad, and the resistor is 100 ohm. To display the capacitor voltage, we need a voltage sensor which can be obtained from the electrical sensors library. Connect it across the capacitor and use the physical signal to simulate converter to display the waveform on the scope. Make sure that the physical signal to simulate converter unit is set to volt. Open the scope and rearrange the windows. Now set the simulation time to 100 milliseconds. We don't need the simulating to physical signal converter, so it can be removed. Finally, run the simulation by clicking the Run button. The capacitor voltage is now displayed on the scope. Suppose that we want to display the capacitor current as well. We need to add a current sensor from the sensor's library and connect it in series with the capacitor. Add the second input port to the scope and connect it to the current sensor via the physical system to simulate converter. Change the unit to ampere and run the simulation. The capacitor current is now displayed on the second channel of the scope. 